so we have read Surah Ashura in the first two rak'ah. Surah Ashura. I guess all of you, you know what is Ashura. And subhanallah, in Islam, the Shura system is something amazing. You cannot find it in other systems or uh, bylaws or whatever. Islam came with this amazing way to have barakah by listening to others' opinions and to have Shura. Even the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told him what in Surah Ali Amran, وَشَاوِرْهُمْ فِي الْأَمْرِ And in this surah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala complimented the believers and said, وَأَمْرُهُمْ شُورَ بَيْنَهُمْ And their matters always, they have shura together. Assalamu alaykum, Siraj Bani, welcome back. Jazak Allah khayyam. Alhamdulillah, you can say feedback. So, shura in Islam, is it uh, secularism? Um, no, not secularism. Secularism. Democracy, yes, democracy. Yes. Secularism is to separate deen and dunya. No. Democracy, is it like democracy or is it, it is different? Huh? Different. different? Sure? Yeah. Because some people they say we want democracy in the masjid. <laughs> so what is the difference between democracy and shura? Democracy is count by numbers, right? Democracy counting by? Majority. Numbers. And shura? Leader. Is what? Depends on leaders. Depends on leader? Dictatorship? <laughs> Depends on leader than dictatorship. <laughs> According to the leader, he will decide. Huh? Democracy is the vote of everyone, even those people. That Democracy is the vote of everyone, even those who don't acknowledge or. or yeah, everyone is equal. Yes. Everyone has vote. So the ignorant is equivalent to that. Alim or scholar. Same. They have one vote. This is democracy, but in Shura, different. So the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, he is the most knowledgeable, or someone is more knowledgeable than, than him. Definitely, is the most knowledgeable, right? And he is regarding his wisdom. He is wise or not? So wise, is he intelligent or not? So intelligent, is he smart or not? So smart, even though he had the prophethood and all this natural uh, smartness Allah gave him, والسلام, but he would make mashura with his companions. Okay, and after having mashura, he would stick to his opinion. No. Huh? Subhanallah, you find some brothers. <laughs> they are not knowledgeable. They are not so smart. And they are so stick to their opinion. If you will move the mountain, but they will not change their opinion. Audhu Billah. So arrogant. This is actually kibr. Arrogant. Why you don't want to change your opinion? Why are you so confident about yourself, my dear? Even Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi would listen to others and change his opinion unless it is a, a wahi from Allah. And you rem remember what happened in Ghazwat Uhud, right? The Prophet Sallallahu Uhud, Uhud. What happened with the, the Prophet took the opinion of whom? Of the youth and the shiukh. Youth are the Shabab, okay? The Shabab the youth said what? Go outside Medina. Face the Mushrikeen outside Medina. And the Shiyukh said what? The, the, the elder ones, they said no, we stay in Medina to protect our families and our backs. And this is better. So 
the Prophet Sallallahu listened to both sides and he took with the opinion of youth and he went out even though his own opinion his personal opinion والسلام, was with the shuyukh to stay in Medina to face al mushrikeen but he went out <laughs> what happened when he went out Ghazwat Ahud Huh? They were defeated. The only time the Prophet was defeated والسلام, was at that time. Of course, not because taking with the opinion of the youth, but because of the disobedience of the, the uh, archers. Huh? You say archers? Or the. Uh, yes, okay, the archers. So. Also, in one of the battles, the Prophet alayhi salatu was salam, he settled, I, I, I guess it was Ghazwat Badr, Mada Abd Rashid, for the well. Well, the, who, which Sahabi, you remember? Okay. The, the Prophet sallam set down or chose a place for the army to be, this is like, the place they will stay until they will face the Mushrikeen. So, one of the Sahaba, Al Hubab ibn al Mundir. Alhamdulillah, I need one prize. Al Hubab ibn al Mundir went to the Prophet Muhammad and he told him, Ya Rasulullah, is this place wah from Allah? Am al-Ra'i wa al-Harb wa al Or it's just war and the, the plans and, yeah, and your just opinion. So the Prophet said, no, it's not wah. It's al-Ra'i wa al-Harb wa al So al-Hubab told him, that is not a suitable place. We should go exceed the wells of water it will be in our back we drink they don't drink and that is better location so the prophet وسلم, immediately said what let's take with this opinion that is better and he did if one of us just to, took very little authority you know i said something <laughs> <laughs> and you are coming to say this is not good choice you are not polite. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> yeah, fired. <laughs> you are correcting my location? Go out. This is happening or not? Wallah, it's happening. It's happening everywhere. It's happening from many, many people. And as I said, that is a sign of arrogance. Even if you will look at you and make like this, but arrogant. Arrogant, he doesn't want to change his opinion at all. Stick to his opinion. His opinion is like Quran. Don't try to, to speak with him. Don't try. Because the conclusion is the same. So, of course, some nationalities, that is very strong in them. So, they need to have tazkiyah. They need to have what? Tazkiyah, purification. Some nationalities, they are very stubborn. Or they are very stick to their opinion and some people they feel shameful I am a man how I change my opinion they feel shameful in upper Egypt upper Egypt means south of Egypt I hope no one from the south of Egypt here <laughs> so I can speak freely in south of Egypt you will find many many people it's very shameful this is the culture Shameful, if a man has <laughs> moustache, <laughs> they say like this, a man has a moustache, change his opinion, <laughs> what's the problem? <laughs> the Prophet Muhammad Sassan changed his opinion. What's wrong? So that is culture. They let you feel shameful if you change your opinion and take with the opinion of someone younger. How oh, come? If your elder brother said something, <laughs> have just followed blindly 
if my elder brother is saying something haram or something wrong, or he will take us to bad conclusion, how will we be silent? We have to, even the, the Sahaba, the Prophet opened the gate for them to speak. You know, if you find someone, the people surrounding him are afraid to speak, then have doubt about the leader. Because it means that he is not allowing anyone to open his mouth. If you open his mouth, he's out. Then only around him will be those who are سَمِعْنَا <laughs> وَأَطَعْنَا Just peace and obeying. That, that's a big problem. That is a big problem. You know? So that's why Shura is amazing system. Shura in Islam is to listen to the opinion of others without having any uh, like following the voting of majority even if majority said something the leader can choose the opinion of the minority the leader can take with the opinion of the minority uh, so it's as brother Ghazi mentioned it's at the end you can say of course the, the final decision is the right of the leader and that is also the respect in Islam because in democracy, they don't have respect for the leaders. They don't respect them. You say, oh, my majority even, we say uh, something against all your experience, oh, we don't care about you. Right? But in Islam, no. The re leader is respected. Leader is respected. So, big difference between respect and listening to others and having mashura to like brainstorming to get out the best of opinions. <coughs> to maybe someone, subhanAllah, Allah gave him more experience, Allah put barakah in him to say this opinion, this choice, this suggestion, we will take with it, we will have barakah. That's why, if we make mashura in anything, and we took decision, after that we should what? We should what after that? We should all respect it and follow it. And this is also from the Barakah of the Shura. In democracy, they don't respect. Also, they claim they respect. In Islam, if we are two groups now, let's say we are making voting now, we will pray Salat al Eid, 6 o'clock or 8 o'clock. Small example, okay? For me, personally, I want it 6 o'clock. Okay? And some other group, they want it 6 o'clock. Another group, they want Salat al Eid, 8 o'clock. After we had the mashura and we listened from both sides, why you want six? I want because of one, two, three. Why you want eight? Because one, two, three. At the end, we took decision and what? We decided Salat al Eid will be eight o'clock. Then those of the six o'clock group, ah, we will make another Salat al Eid. We will pray alone and go. These people, they are foolish. They don't know how to arrange. Big problem, right? But khalas. If we had mashura and we decided something, we should all respect and don't have problem in your chest towards your brothers. And this is the khair and barakah. Uh, Alhamdulillah, we did mashura. Then Alhamdulillah, this is khair. Alhamdulillah. Whatever we will choose, Allah will put the barakah because Yadullahi ma'a al jama'a. <coughs> Hand of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and support of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is with the group. We all. Decided, خلاص. <clears throat> no need to be isolated or to take another opinion or to have isolation and division. So, always the mashura brings barakah. And I saw some people, they are arrogant even to listen. If they took position, they say, I don't need to make mashura. Why everything I make mashura? <laughs> Uh, I know this is clear for me to take this decision. خلاص. No. Everything, if you make mashura, you will never regret. You will never regret. You will have always barakah and support from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And that is a clear order from Allah to the Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. The best ever man Allah created is making mashura with lower people than him, right? Sahaba lower than him. In everything, lower than him in everything. Even though he's listening and following them. SubhanAllah. So, 
we should always uh, uh, understand that no one is perfect. Even the perfect human, he reached the ultimate perfectness of of human beings. Muhammad ibn Abdullah, sallallahu alaihi wasallam. Sometimes his own opinion was right or wrong. Wrong. Is there any evidence for what I'm saying? Like what? Give me example. Like Prophet Islam took the severe death. Hmm? Prophet he took the severe. He took the? The, he said, Qasam. Qasam, okay. Oh. That I will not drink uh, this from the honey. Uh, okay, this is one example that the Prophet Islam became angry from his wives when they had small women plot <laughs> okay because they had jealousy from uh, Zainab and her honey so Aisha and Hafsa they decided to make something anyhow so the prophet said wallahi I will not eat this honey again okay <laughs> so Allah blamed him ya ayuhan nabiyu lima tuharrimu ma ahal Allah lak why you are forbidding something Allah made it halal for you ayat what else when the Prophet ﷺ accepted al fidya from Osara Badr? After Ghazwat Badr, there was there were some uh, captivated, you can say uh, Asra, what they say, uh, prisoners, okay? Uh, yeah, from the Mushrikeen. So the, the Prophet had Mashur. Prophet Muhammad and Abu Bakr, they said what? They are our relatives. Maybe Allah will guide them so we can accept that every one of them pay fidya so we will not kill him. Omar ibn Khattab. We should kill them. <laughs> okay. And also his relatives. Say. All Quraysh. Omar said, No, we are Rasulullah. These people are enemies of Allah, they should be killed. The Prophet ﷺ was like, Omar, don't be harsh, Omar. Maybe Allah will guide them. Just Rasulullah wants the mercy for them, wants more guidance for them. What the ayat revealed in Surah Al-Anfal? لَوْ لَا كِتَابٌ مِّنَ اللَّهِ سَبَقٌ لَمَسَّكُمْ فِي مَا أَخَذْتُمْ عَذَابٌ عَظِيمٌ Till a level that Omar, uh, sorry, Abu Bakr and the Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu when this ayat was revealed, blaming too much Rasulullah, Rasulullah Sallallahu was weeping out, and Abu Bakr weeping out, and Omar came, he found him like this, so he started weeping, without understanding what's going on. <laughs> he started just weeping with them. Then he asked, what happened? Then they told him that Allah revealed the ayat in your side, Ya Omar, confirming your opinion. That is another situation in the Quran also. This two situations from the Quran. Third one, Abasa wa Tawalla. Allah is blaming the Rasulullah because his own opinion was no time now for this blind man, blind poor man who came to him. Abdullah ibn Um Maktoum. Now I should focus with the leaders of Quraysh to make da'wah. And he's coming to him from here, Rasulullah makes like this. Coming from here, Rasulullah makes like this. Abasa wa Tawalla. Anja'ahu al A'am. The blind. So Allah blamed him. You should not do this, Ya Rasulullah. You should take care of this blind and give da'wah to him and pay attention to him as you pay attention for these leaders and rich, uh, high social level people. So, not always your opinion is the best, my dear. Please be humble. Accept listening from others accept that if you change your opinion it doesn't mean you are bad it doesn't mean you are stupid it doesn't mean that you are not a man no it means you have a good heart it means you have good character it means you have sound and pure heart and definitely allah subhanahu wa ta'ala puts the baraka in the shura May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala let us to follow the steps of Muhammad alayhi salatu wa salam and to have the barakah of the shura and never to be stubborn to our opinion and to stick to our opinions. Ameen. Alhamdulillah.